Well, the deal is, is practice with that big weight. For a lot of guys, that's the hardest part of this. They've never fished with a weight that big. You know what I'm saying? It takes time, and I'm gonna be honest with you. For most people, it's like a light switch. They fish with it, fish with it, fish with it, and all of a sudden it comes to them. It's hard for a lot of people to just to get that feel for it, you know. So the deal is, all I need that big weight for most of the time is to get through the cover, and then I control it. Now the first time it goes through there, I'm gonna let it fall slack every time, the first time, the initial drop. And that way if one catches it falling, I don't want there's any chance of him feeling me. But after that, you know, I can ease it up or let it fall back slack and let it go fast. But probably the best thing for somebody learning is to stay in contact with the weight after the initial drop. Get a feel for it, you know what I'm saying? Ease it up, you know, and then watch it fall back down. You know, leave a bow in your line, watch it, you know, work with it. Just, you gotta just get a feel for it. And I promise you, it's just like a light switch. Just all of a sudden you'll be like, I get it. Another thing is fishing under a mat is not to spend too much time fishing on the bottom. You know, you think about flipping bushes or, you know, flipping in holes in the grass and all, you concentrating on the bottom. You fish your bait on the bottom. This is a different deal. Nine times out of 10, these fish are always off the bottom. You've got to figure out what depth they're at. You know, guys, they, man, I can't get any bites. Well, the deal is they were fishing under him the whole time. And you ha need to get that bait above that fish for him to see it. You don't want to fish under him, you want to fish above him, you know, or right on it. So like I said, that initial drop, I let it go to the bottom, and then I start fishing it back up in the water collar. And, you know, depending on the depth, if I'm fishing deep mats and I don't know where they are, I'll pitch it in, let it go to the bottom, I pick up slack, I yo-yo. And every time I drop it, I pick up slack. And what I'm doing is I'm just, working my way to the top, you know, and I'm waiting for that fish to tell me, you know, where he wants to be. I mean, I called him and his girlfriend. And they're getting it. It does seem like bigger the fish, the better they get it. I mean, they, the bigger ones are the more aggressive. That's what I thought earlier, the female was the, the more aggressive fish. I love to set the hook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I could just do that all day. I don't have to cast or anything. Just let me swing. 